In this game, black is Takemiya Masaki and white is Iwata Takzaki. Both players started with two star opener and black approaches the corner instead of playing this three star opener. When black approaches the corner, white answers. Of course, black Takemiya Masaki is not going to take this corner. Black is going to get some influence. White jumps and black shoulder hits. If you're not sure about this Joseki, you can learn more about it in the Essential Joseki series from Simple Baduk. White extends first, black extends, white tries to push out, black blocks, white extends, black extends, and white jumps. From here, black could immediately take away the corner, but still, we have Takemiya Masaki, so he plays over here. Now that we see this is getting a bit too cosmic y, so white immediately splits to prevent the cosmic style of Takemiya Masaki. But surprisingly, Takemiya plays this connection, trying to save this though and get some extra thickness over here. On top of that, this is also kind of threatening these white stones. So white spends another move over here. Now black approaches this one space jump, white costume is out. From here, the usual answer would be something like this, just settle the group. But Takemiya doesn't want to see this kind of things from happening. This way, although black gets to settle these stones, but this influence turns into useless influence. In order to avoid that, Takemiya Masaki plays the small knights. Although these two stones are still not settled, but Takemiya is looking for this shoulder hit later on. This way, black can completely lock white inside and grow something over here. White kicks this stone first, black extends down, and attaches on this 3-4 point. This is actually kind of a greedy and small move. White should have applied pressure on these two stones. Even if black gets two small knights in, white gets to get some of the corner and further apply pressure on these three black stones. As these black stones run somehow, white is able to erase this part of the potential. But in the actual game, white attached over here, black haned. From here, white could extend down or connect, and white died. From here, white has two options, connect or extend down. Connecting means white get to still affect the middle a little bit. Extending down means white gets to settle and there are no problems or whatsoever. When white connects, black, instead of forming a tiger's mouth, played a small knight. This move is saying, next, I am going to apply pressure on this stone, and you don't get to make this two space. This small knight is also preventing white breaking out, but the only problem with this is black has less say on this corner. But black is Takemiya Masaki, the person who doesn't give a thing about the corners. White tries to get the corner safe, and black approaches the corner, white answers, and black Pincers this stone. Next, white tries to break into this middle of the board while separating these two black groups. Black, instead of immediately cutting the connection somehow, black settles these black stones. White attaches, black bumps, white extends, black forms a tiger's mouth, white hanets, black hanets back, when white extends, black extends. This way, black cuts off the connection between these two white groups, and black stones are all connected and alive. And on top of that, because of this and this, black has this kind of things that's possible, so black gets the sente at the end. So white, before, make sure white is alive, pushes first, and then white is alive. Now the next move, if black is any other player, then black might play something like this. But again, we have Takemiya Masaki. So black plays over here. First is looking to attack these white stones, and second is to get some stones over here to get some cosmic going on, and later on, this shoulder hit to 
lock these white stones in. That's the dream. White jumps, black small knights, white tiger's mouth, and black extends, white ataris, black connects, white ataris, black extends, and white jumps out. From here, this stone is now in danger, so black pulls back. Takemiya Masaki knows exactly when to get a moyo or the influence going on and when to defend his own stones. That's the difference between Takemiya Masaki and most amateur players who play cosmic style. Amateur players, we usually just surround, surround, surround and everything dies around the board and as soon as your opponent throws in a stone in the middle, you probably can't even catch that, then you lose the game. But Takemiya Masaki also keeps the balance between the moyo and not dying. White peeps over here, and if black plays here, then white is able to use the black stones to get some stones out there. So black connected. From here, white kind of should have played this move in order to settle all these white stones, but white wanted some extra thickness to leak into black's potential. With the sente, black got this move in. Next, white got a little bit too greedy and crawled on the second line. White should have played something over here in order to restrict black's growth. But since white played here, black got this huge point. Now you can loosely see this moyo forming. White jumps out trying to leak into black's cosmic and black keeps first, white connects and black small knights out. Now it looks like not only black is surrounding this part of the board but also this part of the board. So white invades. If we look at this invasion, personally, I kind of want to play something like this, but Takemiya played this Kosumi. This is saying with the next move, I can play this to solidify this part of the board. But if white plays something over there, then black can play this and capture this stone. But if white plays something over there, then black can play the small knights and control this stone. In the game, white played over here, black bumped, white plays here, black blocks the corner, and white climbs this stone. This variation happens quite often in our games. If you don't know this variation or this joseki, then check out the Essential Joseki series. Shameless plug. If black extends over here, then white can jump. When black plays over here, this turns into sente, black needs to run. This way, white gets to take away all of black's points. So when white clamps black stone, black needs to connect this way. And white has to settle too. Now again, before black playing something over there, black captures this stone. This not only settles these black stones, but also affects white stones over here. If white doesn't answer black, then black can later play here. When white connects, black can play here to connect everything back and white stones are going to get attacked. So white has no choice but to make a tiger's mouth and be alive over here. Black shoulder hits over here, trying to apply pressure. White lifts and shoulder hit. Now we are solidifying this middle of the board. White plays here trying to leak into black's moyo. Black, instead of passively surrounding this middle, black attached over here. White blocks, black harness, white extends. Next, white is going to use this Atari to connect everything back up. So black blocks over there and white connects over here. The simpler way of playing is black connects, White connects, and because black is too thick over here, white cannot erase too much of black's points from here. So black can turn around and take this corner. This is a simpler way of playing as black. But Takemiya Masaki doesn't care about the corners. Takemiya only wants the middle. That's the romance of cosmic style. White ataris this stone. When black cuts, white cannot capture this stone because black is able to counter Atari and these stones are probably going to die. 
So when black Atari is over here, white connects and black pulls out this stone. White Kosumi's black extends and white shoulder hits this stone. If black passively defends like this, then this can be painful. So before doing anything over there, Takemiya makes some exchanges over there in the corner. And the most common variation we see is Hanen into the corner, but Takemiya really doesn't care about the corner. So Han is out. When white Atari's this stone, Takemiya starts a ko. He wants by starting a ko, maybe cut off this stone or get other profits somewhere else because he really doesn't care about the corner. White captures this stone, black slides in, white defends the corner, black captures this stone, white bumps, white another code threat, black captures these stones, white capture, black extend, white block, black takes the code, white ataris these stones, black connects, white takes the code, black extends over here, and we see these stones are iffy, and black plays here, white saw, this and this, there are too many code threats, and even here we got quite some code threats. So white decided to settle this code fighting. And black got what black wanted to cut off this stone. White pushes black Hane, white push again, black extend, and white Atari's these stones. Black comes out, Atari again, black comes out again, and White tries to capture these two stones, but black attaches over here. This is the way to surround these white stones. If white simply connects, then of course black can surround these white stones. If white extends, then black can come out. When white cut the connection, black can atari and capture everything. If white plays this Kosumi, black can extend. Now, if white connects up over here, then black can connect over here. If white connects over here, then black can cut from here. So white has no choice but to simply capture these two black stones and black completely surrounds white stones. When black played this move, we can see this middle moyo is now solidified. Although both players did some end games after this, but it didn't change the fact that black won the game. After a few moves, Iwata Tatsuyaki resigned this game. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.